So this is how I'm able to take an old dead winning product from maybe a few years ago and turn it back into a winning product again following these simple steps. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Kamil Sa, I'm known as the Ecom King and in today's video, I've got an absolute value bomb for you because I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can follow these simple steps to turn an old winning product that's died out from a few years ago and create a new winning product again. Now, I absolutely love this tutorial today because number one, it's so easy to follow. I've created a free Google Doc sheet so you can follow it with me to make it as simple as possible for you guys. Now, if you want to be able to attain that free Google Doc sheet to make your life easy, all we need to do is hit 2,000 likes, which isn't hard. And then number two, it's completely free, this process. And number three, it's a very short process. Now, if you appreciate all this free course-worthy content that I'm creating for you guys, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn post notifications on. And let's get straight into this tutorial. So before I actually get into the step-by-step -step tutorial today, I need to explain how the strategy works and what psychology is involved, because if you don't understand, then none of this is going to make sense. Now, if this gets a little bit technical for you, don't worry, rewind the video and watch it again, and it will make sense over a few different times. Now, basically, selling is all based on psychology. Humans buy based on different psychology reasons, and I'm gonna be explaining the main reasons why people buy in a minute. Now, when people sell products and they become winning products, they tend to use the mainstream psychology tactics to sell that product to a consumer and when that winning product dies out it's because that marketing angle that they're using has run out on the consumers that are buying it which means the people that would buy it for that one reason those people have run out and they're not going to buy anymore because that psychology doesn't resonate with them which means they're not going to want to buy the product so a very basic example of this for those that don't understand what i'm talking about is let's say for example somebody's looking to buy something and the reason why they want to buy something is because based on the price no other reason but just based on the price then let's say an advertiser advertise that product to you and it's the price that you're looking to pay for it, then you're going to buy it because that's based on the psychology that you're looking for. You're looking to buy something based on the price. Now, if you're that same consumer, but this time the advertiser is trying to sell it to you because of the long term longevity of it, or let's say for the trendiness of it, you're not going to buy it because it doesn't fit that psychology that you're looking to buy it with. So how this strategy works in a nutshell is you're going to be going to Facebook ads and you're going to be searching for old winning product ads and you're going to be seeing which marketing angle in psychology that they use to make that product and win it in the first place and you're going to see what they missed out on which psychology levels they didn't use and you're going to try those other psychology levels that they didn't use for that product again to see if you can reactivate that product by using a different marketing angle or psychology so these are the main marketing angles and psychology tricks that businesses and advertisers use to get consumers to buy products number one all about pricing so they try and get the cheapest price and when you look for the cheapest product and you find it then you're going to buy it now i don't recommend getting into price wars because it just doesn't work in drop shipping. Now, number two is the savings. How are you able to save money over a long period of time? Initially, you might be in a small loss, but over the long run, you actually save more money and it's more efficient. Now, the third marketing angle is convenience. How convenient is it to buy something? Is it going to make your life easier, more simple? Is it just going to make your life easier overall? Now, the fourth marketing angle is all about trends. Buying the latest trend, for example, the latest iPhone, for example, the latest Supreme t-shirt, always staying up to date with the trend and this is one of the biggest ones on the market. So the next one is FOMO, which stands for fear of missing out. And this one is absolutely huge. People don't want to feel like they're about to miss out on something. So if you genuinely think that there's only three products left on your website or there's three latest t-shirts in that drop that you're doing on your clothing brand and somebody's on there thinking, damn, I've either got to make a decision or now, more times the pressure gets them to buy the product because they don't want to miss out. So fear of missing out is absolutely huge. Now the next marketing trick is solutions, giving consumers solutions to their problems. Now, an example to this is, let's say somebody hates cutting fruit, they just don't enjoy cutting fruit, then you're gonna buy fruit that's already cut and already chopped up from the supermarket. And that's an example of a solution. Now, there's many solutions and examples that I can give you, but that's just the first one that I've now, the next marketing trick is giving the consumer a solution to a problem that they're currently having. So, for example, if somebody just doesn't like to cook because they haven't got enough time, then buy a ready meal. That's a solution to that problem. Solutions are one of the biggest ways that consumers buy online and overall. So, the next marketing angle is creative and happiness. What can somebody do from home or a way that gets them in that creative spirit and makes them happy and joyful and relaxed? So, the last marketing trick is buying gifts for people because of special events like birthdays, Mother's Day, 
holidays, Valentine's Day, there's a reason to buy something. So now you guys understand how marketing psychology works and how advertisers and business owners use psychology to sell to consumers. Now I can show you how to do this step-by-step -step tutorial. So step number one to this tutorial is by going to a Facebook ad spy tool like Peekster. Now Peekster's my choice, but you don't have to use it, but it's the one that I'm using. And what this tool does is it shows me loads of different Facebook ads that are doing really, really well at the moment. So yes, this is a paid option, but I will be showing those that are looking for the free option how to do it in the next few minutes. So for those that have got the paid option, what you want to do again is go to where it says December or old ads and you want to filter by it and then you want to scroll down and what you're looking for, the criteria is you want to see if you can find any old ads for products with at least 50k views or 1 million views and find their website. So how you do it with Peekster is you head over and you scroll down and then what you want to do is you want to hit learn more on the ad and you can see this one right here. It showed me the ad and then the first thing that you want to do is be able to find the website. So now I can find the website because the link tends to be in the Facebook ad which it is here. So once I've done that you can see here I found the website. Now what you want to do first off is you want to make sure that you look at the copywriting because you want to try and establish what marketing angle they're using to sell to consumers. So you guys can see here, let your imagination run wild, free shipping, shop now. And you can see here, shop now, 50% off, and then the shop now button. So if we look at the checklist here, they have only done two different marketing psychology. They've done price and they've done creativity. So they're missing out on all these other ones in the middle and at the bottom here. So there's loads of different things that they could possibly do. So we're going to take this to the next step and really work out what psychology they're using on their website. And the best way to do this is to head over to the product page and look at the description. And as you guys can see here, it says limitless creativity. So straight away, we know they're just focusing on that creativity section of the marketing psychology. Now, if we go throughout the website, as you guys can see, that was pretty much it. So on the website, they're only focusing on the creativity creativity and the price because as you guys can see here they've got a little bit of a discount now something else that you really want to make sure that you do is you want to head over to the Facebook ad library and you want to change it so it's everything so every country all ads and you want to put the page name in and then you want to see what ads that they're currently running because the reason why you want to do this is to see if they're doing picture ads or if they're doing video ads and this will all make sense in the next few moments but more importantly they might be running multiple ads with multiple different marketing angles some companies do that some don't but if we take a look and read here, you can see this one primarily focuses on just price. This one primarily focuses on some of the solutions that you can get with this crystal pen. Now, these two do focus on the solutions. And then this one here focuses on the creativity. This one here focuses on the creativity. So out of these ones, they focus on price, creativity, and sometimes solutions in that industry that they're selling within. So after looking at that website and that brand, I know that they've missed out on around about three to four different marketing angles that they could really utilize. They didn't talk about gifts, buying it for somebody as a gift which you could run as an ad they didn't talk about how it's convenient instead of buying a different product in the same industry they didn't talk about fear of missing out so there's loads of things that they didn't use to potentially scale that product even more which you can utilize on something else that they didn't do is they didn't run any picture ads from what we can see on the ad library now picture ads sometimes work better than video ads so that's something else that you can try and utilize so I want to show you guys another example of this so as you guys can see on Peekster I found this other ad here now if I go onto the Facebook page they're currently running a picture ad for this one and they're currently focusing on the gift part of the psychology because as you guys can see here it says best gift so if we take a little bit of a deeper dive into the actual brand itself as you can see on the website they've got that niche looking website which doesn't look bad at all but as you guys can see here they primarily focus again on gift wrapping and they use that as an upsell to make more money as you guys can see here because they charge $9.99 for it so if you look throughout the other website you can see the product description goes over the text and the specs now I don't really call that psychology I just call that more text and specs so that doesn't really count in my opinion the only thing that they only count on is the gifts so they only really emphasize gifts they do a little bit of price because I hear they got a little bit of a discount but apart from that they don't really utilize anything about creativity and design and stuff like that now if we do the same thing again and go into the Facebook ad library as you guys can see they're running videos and pictures which is absolutely amazing but the thing that we want to do is we want to look at the copyright and as you guys can see here the best gift for hockey fans so now what they're doing is they make they're making the product in certain aspects to fit certain markets and as you can see it's got a hockey player now if you read this one again this one's about transferring me 
transforming transforming your room which is about creativity and then again you've got more gifts here and if you scroll down you've got the gifts you've got more gifts you've got more uh, psychology based on the actual niche itself which is creativity but if you go through all these which i've already done before i've actually done this it's pretty much about gifts and basically creativity and what you do as a living and again this company's missed out on loads of different marketing angles that you could potentially use to basically outperform them so this is the free way of doing this strategy you want to head over to ecom hunt and make a free account and then what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the bottom and go to the last page of ecom hunt because they will show you the oldest products on the website and then once you go through the different products you want to try and find something that grabs your attention and once you do for example myself i found this pet grooming glove that was posted four years ago and it was definitely a winning product because this thing was absolutely everywhere then what you want to do is you want to head over to facebook and search for the product name here and then you want to change it by videos because you want to try and find the video so as you guys can see now all the different videos are coming up on the facebook platform and you can sort this by most recent you can change it by date posted and you can change it to live now i do leave these ones empty because you don't need to change them but what you want to do is you want to scroll through these different videos and try and find a video that's got the most views as you guys can see here this one's got 1.2 million views and then what you want to do is you want to try and see if you can find the website now sometimes because these videos are so old the website isn't active anymore so then you can't do it so you want to keep going through till you find a video that's got decent views like this one here and the website works so after going through the facebook video ad timeline i was able to find this video for the product which was done just under a year ago and the marketing tactic that they're trying to use is a solution tactic the perfect tool to groom your pets that is a solution tactic now this advertiser could have gone with a different marketing angle which is an emotional angle because people when they buy their pets they're emotionally attached to them so they could say something that might pull on their emotions like saying don't let your pet get too over so and so and then people are thinking oh yeah i have left my pet too long without going to the groomer so i do feel bad for them because they may be really hot during the summer if you've got a pet that's got really long hair during the summer they're gonna suffer so by implementing that in that is an emotional way of getting them to buy the product now if we take a look at the website the website's been done really really nicely it's a one product branded store they called it pet grooming glove with the logo which is amazing but the only issue is if you look at the copyright which is where they focus on the psychology they're focusing in just on how this can be a solution for their pet now they could have really emphasized about potentially their pets getting really hot in the summer and that could be really damaging to pets if they get too hot in the summer they can get sunburn and things like that so there's no emotion within this copyright in which they've missed out on they've even missed out on convenience as well they've not even mentioned in this copywriting about saving lots of time how much it could cost if you go to the groomers and get it done now that again is long-term longevity in terms of earning more money over the long term but buying in the short term to then get long-term gains so if you buy this product once you're buying for it once but then you're able to use it more and more times instead of having to go to the groomers every single time so this is also lots of stuff that they're missing out on that they could utilize that you could utilize to make this product a winner again so some other really good tricks that you can use to really outpace your competitors and make that product a winner again is by going to commerce inspector and typing in the website url and looking at the overview and looking at the traffic sources now within traffic sources it will show you the top countries that they're currently selling to now the thing that you want to look out for to make this really effective is you want to try and find a country outside of the top five now the top five is us uk australia new zealand and canada so if you can find a country outside of the top five that's working really really well for them what you can do is you can make a website for the same product in that specific country let's say for example italy is their third best selling country you can make a website for that product just in italian and an italian store and you can run the ad in italian that way you're just focusing on that one country and this works insanely well my business partner mohammed does this all the time he gets some insane results especially with the dutch market so another trick that i absolutely love to use is the google trends trick so what you do is you head over to google trends you do worldwide you do past 12 months and then you narrow it down slowly and i'll show you this in a minute and what you want to do is you want to be just searching for different phrases around that niche let's say you're selling in the dog niche search for things like dog lead and all those other things that are related to that niche so for example that person that was selling those lamps i've just typed in 3d lamps i could turn i could type in lighting and what you want to do is you want to see what times of the year they best trend so for example for 3d lamps as you guys can see here consistently over the year it's pretty consistent but during december time and we all know the reason why because of christmas it trends really aggressive but before that we can see here another nice little trend and that's between the 28th of march and the 3rd of april so this is a good way to find products that work best at certain times so what i could also do is i could change this to past 30 
30 days and see if in the past 30 days it's trending you can see here certain days in the month are trending now this is a great way to work out if that product is currently trending during the time of you potentially selling it so i want to go over some other factors that can really help get you guys to turn these old winners into winners again so this is all about the products usps which are unique selling points to revive the product so number one are you able to find that product but the newer version of it so for example that posture corrector that absolutely blew up the vibe for a posture corrector that helps sort your posture out now there was a newer version of that product where instead of you having to naturally do it it will buzz to tell you that your posture is wrong and it will help you form your posture again because normally you, you forget about your posture being bad even when you're in a posture corrector so if you're getting that shock telling you that you need to sort your posture out that's a better version of an old winning product so that's an example of that now how you're able to do that is by going to aliexpress searching the product name to see if there's anything similar to it that's a better version of the product or by contacting the supplier but the next thing is by seeing if you can find the same product but it has more variants more sizes and more colors to it because if you're able to find a product that did really well before but the seller was only selling one color of it but then you're able to find six different colors then that's going to open it up to a wider market now the next thing are sizes more sizes which means it can fit more people the other thing is if you're able to offer faster shipping if you're able to get cheaper costs of unit now if you're able to go down that price war where you're being able to be out beating your competitor because of prices then that's just another thing on top but this one i don't recommend because if you get into price wars it can get a little bit messy now if we talk about the website tricks that you can use to outpace your competitors you can do things like different market angles which i was focusing on primarily on this video other things is change the product name to something exciting now when i see people selling the same products they all call it the same stuff you want to change it and make it different and make it sound really appealing and really amazing if you look at apple the way they name their products they name them some ridiculous names to make you think that they're better than what they are now another thing is branded websites so instead of doing a generic general store or a niche store do a one product store that looks absolutely amazing for example that dog grooming glove they did a great job they did a one product branded store and that's going to really help with the psychology of the customer now a bonus for you guys is build your website again in that country outside of the top five so for example italy build the website but in this time in italian and then that way you're going to absolutely destroy your competitors because they're not focused on anything but the top main countries and they're not willing to translate their website or their ads into those other country languages to focus primarily on them so that's another thing that people don't do because it's a lot of time that you could do to then help yourself now these are a few things that you can do to really enhance your facebook ads and turn old winners into winners again so what you want to do is you want to use picture ads instead of video ads now most people just use videos now if everybody's using videos then they're leaving picture ads as a way of marking the product on the table which you can do another thing is carousel ads not many people are willing to do carousel ads the other thing is again this goes back to the other thing is you want to convert your ads into a country outside of the top five in that language so dutch for example run your ad in dutch instead of english and to that country and see how that works so guys that was the step-by-step -step process of how to turn all dead winning products back into winners again i hope you've enjoyed it and i've hoped you found it as simple as possible and i'll catch you guys on the next video